All right, here we are coming into the man cave, and uh, I had a question that I thought maybe somebody might be able to help me with. I have found some information online about the Keystone Viewing Company, and uh, they made pictures and stereo viewers uh, back in the, uh, I guess, the late 1800s, the early 1900s, and uh, this is a, a stereo viewer. You look through here, you adjust the picture back and forth, there's about 600, I think, of these of these pictures in here, and uh, what you do, uh, you read the back of it. Royal Elephant Hunt, Siam. How would you like to go hunting for elephants? If you should go on such a hunt in Africa, it would be to kill elephants for their tusks of ivory, which are very valuable. However. If you should hunt elephants in Siam or Burma, your purpose would be to capture the animals in order to train them to do useful work. And then you put it in the viewer, adjust it back and forth, and you can see the picture in 3D. Now, this is probably the uh, DVD players of the early 1900s, and there's about, like I said, 600 of these. They're divided up into, uh, I think, the first hundred, maybe the United States, and then, you know, like the second hundred is South America, uh, the third hundred is, uh, you know, Africa, wherever. But these were in uh, the community building at Avondale Mills. My grandmother was the social worker and lived at the community building for years, and they had a library downstairs. It was a huge house. And there was a library downstairs, and she, uh, uh, she gave these to me uh, before she passed away. And so I've got these, I've got two viewers, had them for years, but, and I can find out some information about the viewers, but the question I have, this oak chest here is also from the Keystone Viewing Company. It says, it's got a, a plate here that says Keystone Viewing Company on it, and you open it up, there are 12 drawers. Each drawer is from one, let's see, that's from, uh, there's 50 slots in each drawer. When you pull the uh, the drawer out, each one is numbered. This is 100, 99, 98, 90, and, it, and each one has a slot. And then there are the pictures. These are the same pictures. They're glass pictures, glass slides, almost like negatives, that are with this set. They're the same pictures. And they each one has its own little space here. We're in the process of sorting all of these. And uh, you take them out, and this one says, uh, let's see, washing 1,000 pounds of freshly turned butter, uh, Chalkton, New York. I think that's what it says. Yeah. And then it has a, a picture of the guy washing the, washing the stuff there. But what you did with these pictures, you took these glass pictures, and you put them in the projector here. Now, the projector, uh, you'd set it up to shine on the wall. The baffles there would extend or retract and uh, it had a light in the back. Back here there's a light. There's two big old uh, lenses in there and the pictures would sit in here and slide over. This is the, the piece is broken but I got the parts. But that would plug into the wall and then you took these pictures and dropped them down in there and slid them over and it would shine the picture up on the wall and then when you took the picture out of the drawer it also had a card that went with it. So the, the picture is numbered and the card is numbered. So then you would read what was on the card while you showed the picture up on the wall. This one says, Sioux Indians in full feather, uh, Nebraska. Do you remember the peace pipe in Longfellow's The Song of Hiawatha? Here are a few lines from that that fit this picture. And then, uh, you know, you've got that. So I was just wondering if someone could tell me a little bit about this, maybe the value of it. Uh, we didn't. We was. We thought about loading it up and taking it to Antiques Roadshow, but uh, just was wondering if somebody might know a little bit about that. If you do, get in touch with me. I sure would appreciate it. Thanks and goodbye.